Hello everyone, we're Nova Twins. And you are watching Moolah Check, the only TV you need. Moolah Check. How do, would you describe the legacy of Vivian Westwood? Ooh. Oh, different yeah. question. <laughs> um, I guess just iconic. Um, you know, she's obviously such an entrepreneur and like a, a leader in like punk fashion and was just before her time really when um, she was saying like women are gonna wear and men to wear like these tartan suits and she was like that's never gonna work mm. but it did work like so she was always ahead of the times and yeah she's and her I punky corsets and everything's amazing I feel like Vivian definitely inspired some of our like Brit Award outfits um, cause we made those for the awards and we actually worked with um, Vivian's corset maker to make these kind of really punky um, corsets that we had on the Brit Awards yeah. Mola Jack. I think you are really aware of your role model being for many young women today. What's the most important thing for you to bring across? I think just to, for self acceptance, self love. It's so like we're in a crazy world where you get scrutinized, especially women, for every single thing. And so many people just feel unhappy with themselves because of what they see or they're comparing themselves to other people. Mm -hmm. And we just want to celebrate people's like uniqueness and just want them to be themselves and feel just like strong and that like, just learn to like love all the things they don't love about themselves. So we're trying to just empower lots of, you know, young people and not even just young people, all people, because mm. we all can feel Everyone's like welcome at our shows yeah. and that's why they feel so special because in the room you'll see such a wide array of people from different backgrounds and they look so diverse. So um, we're just happy to be playing this tour across the world and seeing that in action. It's been so fun. Mola Jack. Speaking about how diverse the whole genre of rock music is as well, um, had you ever the thought in your mind, um, what the fuck has this to do with our music? For us, it was a problem. Like, we could get into music easily because of being two women of colour doing rock music. We wasn't widely accepted at first. So it took us far too long to get to where we are today because a lot of gatekeepers didn't quite understand what we were doing. We don't want that for other people. It shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. you, you know, whether you're a woman, whether you're like a male, whether you're part of like the LGBTQ, like but non-binary it shouldn't matter you, you the music is the most important thing but until we get there and that diversity is more apparent we have to keep speaking up and like protecting each other and creating safe spaces for other people because otherwise where would we all go <laughs> i think it's really very important yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no what no. she said <laughs> Mola Jack. what were you doing when queen elizabeth died do you remember we uh, we actually were at the Mercury Awards um, and we were about to, everyone was about to go on stage and then the whole award show obviously got cancelled and a big announcement came on the board that she had passed um, and yeah, everyone just, we had like a week of mourning in the UK and then it got postponed. Yeah. Obviously we didn't know the Queen but you know, like as someone's grandma, mm. you can relate to it. Like I've lost my grandma, mm. you know, and it it could, you know. So as a, like an old woman, like you can always be like just like respectful when someone's passed away. It's always going to be as sad as a life at the end of the day. But she led a long life, so people should be really kind of celebrating long life, you know, because it's you know it's not everyone gets the chance. Aging is a it's a privilege, you know, and um, not everyone gets the chance to age that well, so she did good. Mola Jack. What are your three favorite albums? That's Ooh. Yeah. Um, if we pick one each, I love NERD's Seeing Sounds. Um, that was probably the first album that I properly <laughs> like got into in set. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, it's yeah. like a real. <laughs> um, yeah. Any RDC and Sounds is the first album that I kind of got into when I was younger and like was obsessed with. Um, and you know, I love everything that Pharrell does and the Neptune, so yeah. God, I don't know what my favourite album would be. I really wouldn't know. Because you know, you go through different um, like phases. Mm. So I guess the one I've probably listened to the most 
which is very different, is probably actually um, Tis Coyote's album I've listened to a lot, like yeah. a lot, the second one. Okay. Um, <laughs> Melody Gardo's album as well, the one and only Thrill, we listen to all the time on tour. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, people probably wouldn't expect it because it's so like chill, oh, but good. when you're on tour all the time you want like yeah. nice jazz sometimes, nice. Yeah. Mola Jack. Some influences. I think we've got um, we've got some influences are the same, but we also have different influences from growing up in different towns and stuff. Uh, mine was I loved when I was really young Stevie Wonder and like Donny Hathaway, and then it was like Timberland and Pharrell and Missy Elliott and Beyonce, um, but then Skrillex and The Prodigy. So it just oh, yeah. those are different ones, and yours were yeah. Um, as a kid, I guess it was like a bit more, well, a teenager, I'd say. It was more like garage punk, so it was like New York Dolls, but then also a bit of punk soul, Betty Davis. But she's punk as fuck. Um, <laughs> um, and, like, MC5, and I was discovering bands like Deep Purple and things like that, but then, um, like, I also loved, like, the Spice Girls when I was a kid. Or, like, my mum was listening to, like, Tony Braxton and Whitney Houston a lot, so I was listening to that. But then I also loved... Bands like you know, artists like James Blake and I love Jack White, Racking Tours, Sasha album, Consolers of the Lonely, and stuff like that. So it's just a big mix. Yeah. Missy Elliott, Beyonce, we love. Aaliyah, absolutely love. So it's just oh, everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's amazing. It's yeah. a great diversity in the yeah. music as well. So yeah, great. Mola yeah. Jack. You spend a lot of time together. Would you um, consider yourself as soulmates? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 100%. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're literally like, we're so funny. We look at the old little uh, ladies <laughs> before our time. We're very similar in a lot of things. It's like, it's weird. But yeah. Everyone's always like, are you really twins? We're like, we're twins of the soul. Soul, soul <laughs> twins. Mola Jack. What are you doing to avoid Groundhog Days on tour? Oh, you know what? I was literally saying this. Like, today's a day where. It feels a bit repetitive now, yeah. So I'm literally like, you know, um, I don't know what we did. It was nice on our day off when we say like we kind of went to a restaurant, went to a bar, and we explored the city we're in, and that's really important because you you get like a you just get space. You know, you're out of the bus. Yeah, so you, you get some like space. <laughs> we did some music, yeah. wrote a bit of music today, which was fun. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just try, you try and find, I guess, differences in each day. Yeah. And the shows are so different, so that yeah, is a true. plus, because no show is the same, um, oh. and the audiences are different in every yeah, country, yeah. which is yeah. really interesting to go to like new territories and see. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, make it fun. RTM always finds fun things to do on tour as well. Mola Jack. What do we do? We, we just chat. We Everyone stays up so late on tour just chatting and talking. We eat. Yeah, snacking and talking till like 4 a.m. Then oh, you'll wow. end up sleeping in yeah. <laughs> till like 12. So, late. like, we're nocturnal just because it's so sociable on, on the bus. Like, you yeah. see all the beds. It's just like a big sleepover. So, you end up just yeah. talking yeah. all night. Crazy. Yeah. The other day we d randomly just got like tattoos before our show in Amsterdam. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 I love that. <laughs> like, yeah, like um, an amazing tattoo artist called Claudio um, flew out to Amsterdam and was like, "I'll, I'll come tomorrow." And we was like, oh, oh, "Okay." Yeah. So we were like, "What are we gonna get?" So the day before we was like trying to think of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so what did you get? Do you want to show? I, I need to moisturise it, mine, actually, because it's called crispy. Wow. It's a uh, Persian. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I'm a half Persian, so, and it's, yeah, it's got a nice little meaning behind it. Yeah, yeah. for you personally. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> and yours? I got a little alien and crossbones, and I always <laughs> draw it on everything, but it means just celebrate your uniqueness, be different, and be badass. Mola Jack. Let's imagine you travel back in time, 1990, you meet Prince. What would you do? Make music or love? Or insist doing both? With Prince or just generally in the 90s? With Prince. Oh. No. God, I feel, I feel, I feel pretty like intimidated making music would be Prince. too intense. Yeah, I'd be like, like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Prince. <laughs> yeah. 
maybe just like listen and like advice, get advice good and, advice you know just hear him talk mm-hmm. he'd have a lot of wisdom and wisdom. advice and great things to say so yeah. i think just we'll just sit there listening, listening taking it in learning more jack if you could rule the world what would you do first I guess um, try and solve a lot of things. There's a lot of things. But That's where would you even begin? Mm. I know it's hard. If you could rule the world, where would you begin? I guess maybe um, get rid of false news. Because I feel oh. like if that was taken away, there would be less division. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. everything is perpetuated by false news or like false narratives. Like people would be like, okay, so you can't like this person because they look like that. It's false news. You're better mm. this. Person. You're so everything's false news, and that's the, that's the stem, like the root of a lot of like I feel like evil yeah. and why people do certain things and why people because we we learn we're like sponges and we we listen to something and then we 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 base our opinion on that news. So if everything had to be factual and we had the opinions the right things so and not change the education change, system change because everything. there was so much that was left out so so p- many people are that, like yeah. confused the internet, mm. just laws just false news mm. get rid of it all so people will know the truth and i think it would cause less division yeah. Mola Chuck. hello everyone we're nova twins and you are watching Mola Check, the only tv you need Mola Chuck!